Hello, my name is David Izumo. I'm a principal engineer in technical marketing with Live Action. And in this video, we'll be diving in further to Live Action, Live Annex's integration with Cisco DNA Center. So, first off, what does this integration mean? What does it do? Well, Live Action is a full Cisco ecosystem partner, and we're very well known for deep integrations with DNA Center, SD Access, as well as SD WAN. Many of our customers are familiar with LiveNX, especially for its visual analytics for faster troubleshooting and deeper network insight. Because of all of this together with day two multi-vendor monitoring, we're a full NPMD platform to help customers drive toward digital transformation and operationalize all of these brand new software-defined architectures within their environments. Now, with regards to DNA Center, LiveNX is taking advantage of northbound REST API calls to gather information about health issues for the sites, the network devices, and various other applications within the environment. And then we're also able to cross-launch into DNA Center as well. All of this is in an effort to leverage DNA Center as a platform and provide better information for our end users and our customers. So let's talk a little bit further from a technical perspective with regards to this integration. LiveNX is able to get a tremendous amount of detail directly from the Cisco network devices themselves by means of flow as well as SNMP. We likewise, as we mentioned earlier, make connections via northbound REST APIs to DNA Center. We're able to gather data such as inventory of the devices, the sites, the SD access semantics as well. And we're gonna be discussing that in a later video. We likewise are able to get data directly from PX Grid, specifically around usernames, associating IP addresses with usernames to really help the network engineer troubleshoot faster. Live Action is an analytics partner with DNA Center as you can see in this particular slide. We have that very close relationship as an ecosystem partner with Cisco Systems. So let's see this integration in action. When you first log into Live Action, Live NX's operations dashboard, you're presented with many different dashboards as well as the site view. Here we're laying out the two sites that Live NX is managing, both in San Jose as well as in RTP. And notice we're able to understand high-level information about reachability, the device and the CPU, memory, the utilization, as well as other aspects with regards to the percent of healthy devices and the issue counts. Now, these healthy percent healthy devices and issue counts are coming directly from DNA Center via their northbound APIs. Now, to gather more information about a particular site, simply click into that site as in this case, San Jose, and we're gonna jump right into that site view for San Jose. Here, we'll present a whole host of reports about the DSCP values that are going in and out of the site from a QoS perspective, as well as the applications that are being utilized within the site. Notice also, that there is this information about the percent healthy devices. In this case, 40% of the devices are healthy. We're going to dive into a little bit more about that in just a little bit. Now, likewise, we can gain further insight into the applications inside San Jose by clicking on this tab. Here, we're going to list all the applications that we see, as well as that logical topology for the site San Jose. All of the devices are laid out, as well as the service provider that provides connectivity for the site. Now here, notice all of the various applications going in and out of the site. The end user can then drill down further into a particular application, like RTP Audio, part of the voice uh, VoIP telephony group, for more information and more insights. By clicking on that application, we're gonna show you details about RTP Audio within Site San Jose. We're gonna show you how that traffic is flowing through the site, going out to the MPLS service provider, and then off to a remote site, in this case, the RTP campus, along with details about the application with regards to bytes, as well as bit rates, as you see here. 
Now let's go back to that site page. And now we're gonna look specifically at the devices within San Jose. We'll do that by clicking on this tab here within the site view. And now we're seeing a list of all the devices along with the topology map for the site and how those devices are laid out. Now notice that the ASR 1001X is showing that there's a potential issue from DNA Center. Notice that the health score is two. We can then drill down into that device for further information. So we can do that by clicking on the device and we'll drill down into LiveNX's device view. And notice that the CPU as well as the memory utilization is all within reason, but the health score coming from DNA Center is showing up as two. On the right hand side, we're going to highlight that device within the logical topology to give you a frame of reference on where that device is. So here we can easily see that this ASR1000 is one of the WAN routers for the site connecting off to the MPLS circuit. Now by clicking on this tab here for DNA Center and the health information, we'll automatically cross launch into DNA Center's device 360 view specifically for that ASR1000 in question. And notice over time, the memory utilization, the CPU, as well as the data plane data information is all very good. It's showing a health score of 10. The issue is reachability from a control plane perspective. The end user can then drill in further within DNA Center to further troubleshoot the issues and even kick off a path trace from DNA Center itself. So in this short video, we're really able to see how LiveNX is leveraging DNA Center as a platform to further augment our offering to help our customers troubleshoot issues within their environment, cross launch into DNA Center with a smooth transition to be able to then gain further insight into their network devices within their site.